guess what I made today? Steak hoagie mac and cheese. And if you want to see the inside of this bad boy, how ooey gooey it is, stay tuned. What's poppin' my YouTube family? So today we are back with another banger of a video. Today we are doing steak, hoagie, mac, and cheese. Let's get into it. So right here, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients with you guys first. Right here, I already uh, got everything prepped for you guys because I'm such a good butty. So right here we have our cheeses, you guys. We have... Uh, pepper jack cheese right here that I cubed up we have a mild cheddar we have a Monterey Jack we have a sharp cheddar and in the middle here that is provolone cheese okay so that is our cheeses you guys um, I already went ahead and diced up our veggies as well um, and we are putting in let's just go for it we are doing a trifecta here of bell peppers and so we have, uh, I think that's about one half of white onion. Uh, we have orange bell peppers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, and um, did I say yellow? So yellow, orange, red, and green, y'all. So basically we have all of our bell peppers and onions already sliced up and prepped here. Let's cover that back up. And we have already diced up some baby portabella mushrooms and that is some mild banana pepper rings okay you're gonna need that and we are gonna use some let's see if y'all can see this we are gonna gonna use some kava toppy okay macaroni shells they're a little twisty kinds. I figured, you know, let's freak this macaroni a little bit. I like the way the cheese holds on to those ridges with these shells. So I think this is going to come out spectacular using these uh, shells, you guys. Of course, we have the star of the show, which is our 100% real steak meat. You guys see it once again in the pan. It's kind of sliced just as though like how steakums would come, you guys. So we have our steak meat here you are also going to need some heavy whipping cream and i think also with the heavy whipping cream you guys i'm going to also add in um a little bit of whole milk so yes that is all of our ingredients and let me heat up my skillet y'all so we can get into it stay tuned all right my youtube family i am back and this is going to go quick so pay attention I'm just playing okay so we are starting with a nice hot pan and we are going to drizzle in some olive oil okay a little bit of olive oil at the bottom 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 and we are going to throw in our green orange yellow and red peppers and our onion okay like that. We're going to tear off these vegetables first, y'all. Okay. Give us a spoon. Hope everyone is doing spectacular. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video, you guys. If you are not subscribed, not too sure what you're waiting for. If you are subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back. Okay. So yes, y'all, we are going to sear off our vet. This is about to be so bomb. We is about to soften these up. Our peppers and our onions. Okay. We're going to do everything in the same pot. Everything about to go nice and quick. Hopefully I'm using a big enough pot. I think I am. I'm just making a um, small pan. Okay, so I'm going to cook these until they are midway soft because they're still going to be boiling 
and the cheese sauce so that's going to soften them up then they're going to go in the oven so that's going to soften them soften them up so now we are going in with our uh mini portobello mushrooms and our banana peppers mild feel free to use hot whatever kind you like you know and our mushrooms okay I'm going in with all the mushrooms. I love mushrooms, y'all. We will go in with all the mushrooms. How is it smelling good already? Unbelievable. Hold on. All right. Nice stir. Nice little stir. We just getting them nice and soft, y'all. Well, not even too soft, like I said. We just loosening them up a little bit. I already have my noodles over here already made up for you guys. All right. Okay, these are looking good. So far, so good. So I'm going to let these wilt down a little bit more, you guys, and I'll be back. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. My veggies are nice and charred and done. Okay, so now we took those out of our pan. We are going to go in with a little, more, a little smidget more of olive oil, not that much. And now we are going to sear off our steak meat or cook our steak meat. This takes no time. Just take it, break it up. That is 100% real steak meat. Feel free to use steak on. Use whatever you have. This dish is going to be delicious either way. So I'm just crumbling this up in my pan. And we are going to get this nice and browned off. Got my oven already preheated on 350. Okay, and we got one more piece here. All right, set. Let me get my hands washed real quick and quick, quick. Let's give it a stir. See that? This meat do not take long at all, y'all. Like at all. Nice little stir. And I think to make my I think to make my cheese sauce, y'all, I'm gonna go to a bigger pot. Just in case they want to run it over. We will be prepared. So look at our steak meat, looking good. I'm going in with my all-purpose seasoning. I put that on earthine. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Man, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I love making fun dishes like this. I love it. 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 So this, see y'all? I told y'all this meat takes no time. So, I'm going to let this finish browning. You're going to know that your steak meat is done when you see no pink, no red. When it's all brown, then you know it's time for it to come on out of there. So what I'm going to do is finish browning up my meat. And then when we come back, it's time to start our cheese sauce. And then it's time to put everything together. Stay tuned. 
Okay, my YouTube fam, I just wanted to chime back in real quick just to show y'all what I'm doing. So my meat is done browning and I added all of those beautiful veggies right back into the meat. Right back in there to the meat. We go stir this up real good. Let's go in with some more all-purpose seasoning. Feel free to season this with salt, pepper, Larry's garlic powder, whatever you want to use. And I'm also going to go in, you guys, with a little bit of black pepper, a little extra, extra kick of black pepper. Okay. Let's give that a nice stir. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Melt some cheese over this and get this to me in a bowl. I'm good just with this. I'm good just with this mixture. Look at this. Can y'all see that goodness? That goodness. So now, I'm going to take this off the fire, you guys, and I'll be back to show you what's popping with the cheese sauce. Be back. All right, family, let's start that cheese sauce. So we are going in with a half a stick of butter. So let that melt all around, dance all around that pot, melt around. Put it all around, get that nice and melted. Next, 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 niggity next, 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 next. We are going in with a pint of, let me turn my fire down y'all because it's a little too high now. So I had it high to melt that butter quick. So now I'm turning my fire on low, simmer low. So now we are going in with a pint of heavy ripping cream. Boom, just like that. And we are gonna go in with equal parts of whole milk that's two cups one pint and we are going to give this a nice stir and that's just all that goodness on my spoon y'all that's just all that seasoning and steak and onions and stuff don't sweat it it's okay because it's all going to be combined at the end of the day and this go taste good. So, 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 so. Come over here and get our cheese. And we are gonna add in our Monterey Jack. All right. We are gonna add in our sharp cheddar. Alright, we are going to add in our pepper jack cheese, and we are going to add in our mild cheddar cheese. Alright, and I also have provolone here, let me show y'all, I got provolone here. But I'm saving that for last because I want to put that on the top and make it that provolone is just gonna be ooey gooey on top. It's just gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be out of control. So y'all, what I'm gonna do is let this come up to a slight boil. Keep your fire on low. We're gonna bring this up to a slight boil. And when all of those cheeses are nice and melted, we are going to add some seasoning in that. And it's time to rock and roll, y'all. All right. So I'll be back. All right, my YouTube fam. This is what our cheese sauce is looking like. Nice and thick. And of course, it will. See, it's still really not fully it's not even fully uh, melted yet, dissolved yet. But as it stands, it will thicken. So what I'm about to do at this point, you guys, is toss in our meat. 
our peppers and our onions. Be back. All right, you guys. So we added in our onions and peppers. Oh, it's looking so good. It's looking so good already, y'all. Look, we added in all. Oh. So now, I'm just going to sit here and stir this for about three more, no, about two more minutes because I'm just admiring this deliciousness. So we are just going to let this marry together, let those peppers and onions and meat get to know that cheese sauce, you know, let them make a nice good friendship together. <laughs> And then after this y'all it's a cakewalk we pouring this over our um we are pouring this cheese mixture over our noodles and that's all she wrote stay tuned all right my beautiful youtube fam so we have our noodles nice and boiled up when it boiled these earlier like i told you guys earlier in the video so now these are all ready and set to go so now hopefully i don't make a mess we have our cheese sauce over here we are just gonna pour that meaty whoa that meaty cheese sauce splat do not splash it everywhere like me and it's it's really screaming hot you guys so like i told you earlier it's super hot so as this like uh, stands it will thicken upon standing do not be afraid okay then just mix it all together mix it all together just like this and I'm gonna ladle out some more meat I want some more meat in there and it's just gonna bake up so good y'all I can't wait. Looking for my big spoon. See if I can bring this pot over here. Because I want some more uh, meat. I'm making um, two batches, y'all. That's why I didn't just make a. I'm doing two batches with um, two separate noodles. Okay, so I just want to get a little bit more of that deliciousness just like that mmm mm, mm, mm. yes 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 okay y'all so so now let's get that nice and incorporated in there getting thick already want to make sure each bite has some steak and peppers and onions okay Ooh. so now I'm going to go in with some more pepper y'all know I love to see pepper on my food so we going in with some more pepper And this is um, garlic powder, parsley, and uh, grated Romano cheese. I just added some garlic powder in there and some uh, parsley. Got that in. Okay. Give it a nice stir. Oh my God, I can't wait till y'all see the finished results. I can't wait. Okay. Like I told you guys earlier, I have my uh, oven already preheated. So that is looking spectacular. Now, let's go in with our provolone. We do like six slices. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Go in with a little bit more of this. <laughs> Bless me. Excuse me, guys. Now that seasoning. A little bit more of that on top. That grated Romano. And 
Parmesan, get it nice and crusty. And now y'all, we are going to bake these in the oven. I'm gonna just push these down a little bit. We are gonna put this in the oven, y'all, and we are gonna bake it until that cheese is melted. We're probably gonna bake this for probably about 30 minutes. And I'll be back to show y'all the finished result. Okay, beautiful YouTube family. Here is the finished result. Steak, hoagie, mac, and cheese. Looks gorgeous, right? Now, you already know I'm gonna cut into this for y'all. I tried to let it cool off really good. So let's see. Sorry if the phone is uh wiggling a lot, you guys, because I'm holding it with one hand. Hold on. I'm trying to get y'all a piece. You know, I gotta scoop my family lamb out some. Hold on now. Hold up, hold up. Whoa. Oh man, that's so cheesy. Oh, that's cheesy. Oh, it didn't fail on me, y'all. Oh, it didn't fail on me. That is all cheese sauce. The meat, you can't even really see the meat and peppers because it's all combined. Let me flip this over. See all the meat? Focus in. Hold on. Y'all, my camera is so... Dis Do you know my camera died on y'all? My bad. So, look at you guys. You can see the peppers, the steak, the cheese. I cut... And listen, as it cools, it is going to thicken up even more. As of right now, it's just like a ooey gooey delight. But it will solidify. But just want to give you a nice close-up. You can see the steak there, the onions, and the steak. You guys, it's going to be steak in every bite. Don't trip. Because remember, we shredded it up really fine. So every time you bite it, you're going to get steak. You're going to get, there's a banana pepper. Oh my goodness, y'all. Just cheesy. Oh, ho, ho. as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Mwah.